Hello guys, here's a new tutorial for positioning the camera in the viewport of Blender 3. Here's a simple scene with our friend, the default cube, a point light and a camera. Now if you want to see how the scene looks like when you are looking through the camera, you just press the zero key on the numpad. This is the view through the camera and also what we render when pressing the F12 key. I press zero again on the numpad to come back to the scene view, but now I noticed some of you guys don't have a numpad, okay? You have a laptop or a keyboard without a numpad. But when you go to the preferences and then to the input section, there's an option to emulate the numpad. When you check this, the number keys on your keyboard behave like the numbers on a numpad. Okay, now I want to position the camera while I'm looking through it. For example, I want to bring this cube into the center of the camera view. The camera has to be selected you can select it in this mode as well, just click the border. And now you can move it around like any other object by pressing the G key. Just press G and then move the mouse. Now we are a bit too close to the object and I want to zoom out. So I press the middle mouse button and then I move the mouse and look at this. Once you're happy with the distance of the camera, just press the left mouse button. And that's basically how you can position the camera. But now let's assume that you have a certain view here in the viewport that you want to use as a camera view. You want to align the active camera to this current view into the viewport. So what I do is I go to view, align view, and then I choose align active camera to view. And here's the result, very simple. Then you can adjust it using the G key as before. Okay, the last thing that I want to show you, it's a very short tutorial, is how to track an object with the camera. We want the object to always be focused by the camera. And to demonstrate this, I split the view so that we have a second viewport. And we use this viewport to position the camera. For example, if you want to position it in top auto graphic mode, you press 7 on the numpad while hovering with the mouse cursor over this viewport. On the left side, you always see the view through the camera. Again, I press G to move the camera around. Okay, but now I want the cube to always be focused by the camera. So with the camera selected, I go to the Object Constraints panel, and then I add a track to Constraint. Okay, here it is. Then I have to select a target. I click this selector and select the cube. All right, and now I can either select the camera or the cube, move it around, and the cube will always be in the center. First, I select the cube and move it around by pressing the G key. And on the left side, you see that the camera is following. The same I can do with the camera, move it around, and still the cube is focused. And this is what I wanted to show, it's pretty short, but I want to keep it straight to the point. But anyway, if you have any questions, add these to the comments below. I try to answer as best and soon as I can. If you like this channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. And I'll see you soon on JNM.